This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Live from the Sorgatron Media Studio in Beachview, in the neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA. It is the awesome cast. It's time to get tech geek, geek, geeky uh, here. Uh, we got a great crew tonight, and it's, of course, Apple Day, but we're going to have to be all over the place. We're going to talk about Linux as well, and Ohio. It'll come together. We'll, we'll, we'll get around to that. First of all, from Studio C, he is our gadget extraordinaire. He's got his... Uh, Dialogue box still up for some reason. It is John Chichilla of Big Bank International Esquire joining us again? My dialogue box is up. No, no, that was on my is that, end. Is, it is was, that like a personal problem? That is, that is, a, per, that is a personal <laughs> problem. Uh, no, it was on my end. I forgot to make a thing go away. No, no problem, no problem at all. Glad to be here. Talk, glad to talk about the, the the lowercase eyes. Yes, the lowercase eyes and the phones and things. And also, Katie Dudas is here. She is the. She does marketing and stuff at the scare house. That's a very close camera. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked up. I was like, there's the camera. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Hello. How you doing? Social Hi. media person and old man iPhone yeller. Oh, yeah. Wait to get off my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and we, we got some audience members hanging out behind you. Hi, Billy. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Billy. Uh, big supporter of the Wrestling Mayhem show, hanging out for the show later tonight. And we got some special guests with us tonight. We have uh, uh, Vance uh, Kokenderfer and Susan Rose of Ohio, Ohio Linux Fest, the yearly check-in Howdy. with you guys. Thank you so much for joining us at the new studio. Thanks for having us. It's uh, beautiful here. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, and thank you very much. And we'll talk about Ohio Linux Fest in a moment. First, please, everybody, check everything out at awesomecast.com. You can subscribe to the show and check out everything else that we're doing, including the awesome chat and the awesome tips that we do. And uh, you can, of course, subscribe on the iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, Google Play Music, as well as uh, video versions on the Facebook and the YouTube page. And we're streaming in a lot of more places these days, including look up Sorgatron Media and Awesome Cast on Twitch and Periscope. And you never know where we're going to pop up there as well. Kind of playing with some new technologies um as well so so you can you, you, we can get streaming uh all over the place um also a thank you to our streaming partners uh that are supporting us over at rivers edge pgh.com that, uh, that have us running over there i went to listen to music and all i heard was my voice on saturday and i was like oh like it was like sort of disappointing but not but in, and I, I got over it uh and also our friends at the 405 media.com uh that have been uh i know playing us i believe at 9 a.m pacific time every uh every day over there on the stream every business day uh over on the stream as well also thanks to our patreon supporters as well at patreon.com slash awesome cast uh matt weller with the coffee club matt underscore weller on the twitter and uh fan of the show level uh michael fedor mike fedor show on the twitter thank you so much for helping us uh keep the lights on around here uh, through there if you guys want to support the show as well patreon.com slash awesome cast so the first awesome thing of the week as well, our guests are with us and they they always bring an awesome thing at least once a year to to columbus ohio uh that we like to kind of check in on uh, uh so ohio linux fest is coming up here what's what's new this year yeah so uh we've we've gotten a lot of the same things that we we've had, uh, you know, in the last few years, a mm-hmm. uh, lots of great talks on Friday and Saturday. Um, we've got our professional training again on Friday. Uh, that's going to be uh, an all-day training. It's available at a uh, pretty reasonable price of four hundred fifty dollars. So you've got a bunch of classes to choose from there. Uh, security, uh, certification prep, all that kind of stuff. Um, as far as what's new. Uh, probably the, the, the main thing that we've got going on is going to be on Saturday, September the 30th, uh, we've got our, uh, diversity and open source workshop. So we've got a lineup of, don't remember the exact number, somewhere between 15 and 20 people, uh, that are going to be serving as mentors. And so this is for people who want to get started in being able to contribute to 
uh, free and open source software project. And they're going to be available to help walk you through that process, uh, help you get started. Uh, there's a, a whole separate website established for it, feetwetandopensource.com, pretty much uh, means what it says. And, and the whole idea is, you know, we, we kind of have a problem now with, uh, you know, a, a lot of communities aren't really highly represented in, in free and open source software and, and computer uh, development at large. Uh, so we're trying to get, uh, you know, women, minorities, other underrepresented groups uh, to try to increase their participation. Absolutely, which is a big, uh, you know, big topic these days, especially in the tech industry. Yeah. Um, kind of break it down a little bit, you know, the Ohio, Ohio Legs Fest. Um, you know, we we talked about, you know, getting, who, who's it? Who's it for? What kind of a, a conference is this? Um, what, what's kind of the vibe of something like this? Um, of course, it's been going on for several years now. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a it's a it's a community run conference. So uh, people who are in the free and open source software communities. Uh, you don't necessarily have to be, uh, you know, an expert or a developer or something. Uh, we have talks that are going to be at at all levels, even if you're if you're just getting started. Uh, if you're somebody who's interested in some of the, you know, free to open source a applications, uh, you don't necessarily have to be using Linux. We have some talks for BSD or even just uh, applications, uh, you know, people running Apache web servers, that kind of stuff as well cool yeah this it has been going on for 15 years actually since mm -hmm. our 15th year and it's a grassroots uh free movement and it's expressed through the convention um it started out as um ohio linux uh lugs across the state got together and uh, started the first ohio linux fest so there's a lot of community, as the community manager I have to mention, that, that, that you get to really know the people that are there. And even though we're from Pennsylvania, um, that you really get to know everybody at a national level and at a, at a regional level who are involved in free and open software movement. Mm -hmm. And as we've, we've had some great discussions at length about Ohio links, but I encourage people to check out an old awesome chat that we did where we, we really did go in depth about, yeah. about the, 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 the organization and everything around it and why Linux is right. so important. Um, the one last thing before we move on to some, some other awesome things, um, what's kind of, is there, are there any new developments, new awesome developments, one or two in the last year in, in the world of Linux that we should be aware of? Well, uh, I mean, we're we're seeing probably some of the topics that we're that we're going to be seeing covered. Uh, a lot of it's ground that's that, that's going to be pretty familiar. Uh, security talks are always very popular. Uh, we've been seeing actually for the past couple or three years now uh, a whole lot of focus on uh, containers and virtualization. That kind of stuff has mm -hmm. has been been pretty big. Um, so. Yeah, in terms of, of hot new technologies, uh, nothing jumps out at me. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm but more is kind of more of the thing, as usual, this is the kind of thing that runs underneath a lot of stuff that we, we deal with. There's still day -day. legal issues, and Karen Sandler would be uh, the person to discuss that. Um, she has a um, legal background that um, uh, I believe there's the, um, the free software whatever what do they call it a license the, yeah yeah, yeah so, it's a, free so, software so that's uh, something that's always fluid in in mm -hmm. motion so um to keep uh to keep uh up to date on that mm -hmm. and there's so many people that do philanthropic phil philanthropy type projects that they're helping um underserved areas with uh computers and and they're re uh realigning them with um linux and free software on it and that's mm -hmm. That's a wonderful thing. A lot of great yeah. options out there, and it's very accessible. I, I think I heard Leo Laporte say on a recent, uh, I, I don't know if he was just joking around or anything, but he was just like, he felt like Linux was the easiest operating system to use, like mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Ubuntu or something like that. So it's very accessible. It's not just for developers. It's not just for, I know Chilla loves his virtual machines over there, uh, for instance, and I think you run like a couple of distros as well, don't you? Uh-oh, he's muted. I was muted on my end. Sorry. Yeah. No, I do run a lot of VMs, and I've played around with some of the the different Linux builds. Where where I'm definitely using a lot of the the VMs is to 
build out like Chrome OS where I don't have a Chromebook to test something or mm-hmm. build out a, a, a um, Android device, kind of give me some of the, the features and, and ideas. Um, I'm definitely interested in Unix or Linux in the future from a, from also from a VM perspective. Um, but that's something I want to, I want to play with more and more. But again, it's very much a, um, it's very much a, a you know something that 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 is that's still accessible to people as well. So go check out Ohio Linux Fest. I'm sorry, Ohio yeah. Linux dot org. Yeah, I just uh, wanted to mention we do have a career track as well. In yes. The last, in the last couple of years, that has um, uh, been a track of itself, where um, several speakers in a row talk about developing your career in IT and in open source. Mm-hmm. And the expo hall and the open source solution stage is another way to uh, be in contact with the potential employers and to network with the people that could um, further your career, as well as the professional training. So, awesome. Awesome. Go yeah. check it out. <laughs> All right. Let's get into some uh, more awesome things of the week. Katie, what's your awesome thing? Oh, my awesome thing is... Just a heads up, in case you didn't already know this, a social media pro tip. We can see what you do on the internet. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> you can? Amazingly oh, no. enough. You've been involved in a certain project recently around this, too. Yes. So, oh, well, I guess we'll talk about what happened first, and then we'll talk about the project, because it's fun. The project is awesome. What happened on the internet is not so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure everybody has seen by now that Ted Cruz's Twitter account liked a very graphic tweet (laughs) so everybody was like oh my gosh what's going on so just a heads up if you're on twitter and you're liking things we can see what you're liking as long as you have a public profile we can see what you're liking you may even get a notification that somebody you know likes something along these lines so keep that in mind it also happens on places like linkedin (laughs) which kind of spurred a whole project that we worked on uh this weekend called web finger correct Yes. Web thing. I think that's what we settled on was web thinger. Mm-hmm. I think that's why I made the graphic for it. Yes. Yes, you did. <laughs> but yeah, so a lot of people think that they're out there and doing things on social media and like nobody will notice what I'm liking, but we will. So this is this is twofold. One, pay attention to what you're doing on the internet because other people most likely can see it. And two, if you have an intern or someone running <laughs> your social media accounts, maybe just like keep an eye on what they're doing Mm -hmm. and also maybe just have a completely if if you're someone who has multiple accounts on their phone there are multiple twitter apps this is a perfect (laughs) spot for a a cautionary tale that didn't involve porn um (laughs) because for for some reason that we won't get into here i have my wife's account twitter account on my phone and the other day, I started getting messages, like DMs. And when you see DMs on, on the iPhone, it's, it's you know, you don't see what account you're under, right? Mm-hmm. So you, you, I go in, and I'm like, hey, can you do this session on Saturday for WordCamp? And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm so busy. But maybe, I mean, if you really need me, maybe I can get there in time. Da, 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 da. And then, like, all of a sudden, so I see Sorg go back to sleep. And I was just <laughs> like, wait. And she's like, what was that? And I was like, oh, I must have tasted something i don't know because i still hadn't figured it out <laughs> and it turns out i'm completely using missy's dms uh thinking i'm i'm my own account because that's how it looks on my phone so yeah be very aware of the accounts on your phone i've certainly you know retweeted certain things to wrong accounts i don't have a lot of clients on my phone thankfully because because more responsible people than me take care of that now. Uh, but uh, it's, uh, and that's why. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, no, there's definitely been like, uh, hey, you know, why did I send this tech article to, to Mayhem Show every <laughs> once in a while? Or I don't realize which account I'm in when I'm just liking a bunch of stuff that I'm seeing. Um, but again, it, it, it's at least like a cross podcast and that could get really, really awkward if, you know, maybe your clients aren't exactly the same kind of thing. So yeah, yeah. Or or, or <clears throat> also, I mean, I would think if you're if you have a prospective client or someone's trying to look up, you know, are the are your interests the same, or do, you know, do you have commonalities in your in your work ethic or or whatnot? Mm-hmm. Uh, that could definitely come come into play as people are researching each other or to. <clears throat> To the point earlier about LinkedIn, right? You know, you're probably, someone's probably going to go look at someone's LinkedIn profile, look at, you know, who else they're 
their LinkedIn friends with who, what they're looking at, what they're posting, what they're liking. I um, mean, it can definitely come into play. And the scary thing is that led to this project. And here's a little bit of it for you guys. Uh, you can check it out at the Sorgatron Media YouTube page or on SorgatronMedia.com. We have a link. Um, uh, you know, it, it's... You, People on high end companies don't realize how much we can see that they're doing, especially people involved in tech companies. And you never know. You could have a comedian just dramatically reading your weird comments to a Wonder Woman uh image on Instagram like uh like like we did this past week. So uh so so there's that. Uh so this turned into an ad for web thing or thanks, Katie. Uh, <laughs> hey, anything you need. Uh Chilla, what's your awesome thing of the week? Uh, so my awesome thing of the week is uh, Apple's announcements. iPhones, iPhones, iPhones. Wait, wait, wait! You can't take all the announcements. <laughs> That's not I fair. Didn't, I, didn't, I didn't. I didn't take the watch. I didn't take the oh, charge. Oh, oh, just all the uh, iPhones. <laughs> just all the iPhones. The collection of iPhones that I, that 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 is out there now. Um, oh. uh, go ahead. But it, it'll be interesting because I'm sure this will turn more into a roundtable. Um, obviously, if I were going to select my the iPhone for purchase. Um, I am going with the 256 gig iPhone X. Oh, top of the line. Oh, look <laughs> at you. I, I think I'm in the same boat. Chilla. I don't know how I'm paying for it yet, but I think I'm going to be saving my pennies for that one. The, the, the interesting thing that, that, and when you look at it is, and my, my go in, cause I couldn't get a strong pulse on what the physical size of the device was so i have some friends at work um and they they actually have the iphone one of them has the seven plus and another person i know has the six plus and i know another person with the 6s plus um and the telephoto lens definitely had me convinced that i would be upgrading to the plus line mm-hmm but what I really don't like about the phone is the physical size. <laughs> well, when you look at the phones side by side, the the X is about the current size of the baseline. I gotta get used to saying X yet. <laughs> it just sounds <laughs> 10, so. Sorry, it I guess sounds it's hilarious to me. Yeah, and I, I think it's iPhone ten, but yeah, um, the, the ten definitely comes in physically a smidge above the current the current typical iPhone 7 mm-hmm. or iPhone 8 so when you, when you start to look at um outside of that um obviously you're getting face id everything has the bionic chip everything has wireless charging um, also we call it a, bi- a bionic chip so you know i'm thinking six million dollar man every time like can my ringtone be the six million dollar man like like music or actually the theme song would be okay but like that that's you know, like i get a call and it's the the i'm doing something bionic sound that happens during the show but and, and and I don't want to talk. Uh, By the way, I love how Chilla just no sold that completely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, because I'm going through all these stats, and it's it's interesting. I don't know if you have the link open. I do. I, I'm actually showing bits of the page while while, while yeah. we're going here. So so as you as you go across, and I'm I'm sure the haters are just going to cling on to this, but there's not that much different when it comes into the guts as far as the camera. Um, the, the, like the camera, as far as megapixel aperture, etc. When it comes in, in into you know what Bluetooth stuff it's using, how it does it have video calling, audio calling, all the playback specs, all of the video encoding, everything does 4K video recording at 24, 30, and 60 frames per second. Um, really, it comes down to that new 10 form factor and Face ID. And an emojis, baby. Well, and that, that kind of ties in. I mean, yeah. come on. You get to be a talking poop emoji? <laughs> I mean, you kind of win so, with this phone, right? I mean, uh, it, it, that, that, that's, I mean, seeing Jimmy Iovine as a, as a unicorn was pretty exciting um, <laughs> during the demos today. Uh, but but no, it, that's that's like that's the big takeaway for me for this phone is the um, not just like it. Hey, it's it's got all this power and everything. It's in okay, it's this giant screen that I'll probably break. Um, but it's 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 the sensors and all the things like you know that that's a big demonstration piece 
of you know that and emojis and and okay this is what they're doing you know and you're you're rolling in ar with this kind of stuff like what else are they going to be able to do what what i'm really interested in is i'm sure they're going to open up a lot of that the technology they're using for emojis and everything i'm interested to see how snapchat and instagram and all of the filter <laughs> apps yes then build off of this. Um, and there's, a, there's a good one. There's a good one. Chat. Doug's saying that's a lot of money to be a virtual furry. No, have you? First of all, have you priced the furry suit? Okay, <laughs> I, I think it's comparable. So, so I think we're kind of okay with that. And I don't have to clean the thing. Um, uh, Katie, I, you, if any, you're the first person I thought of when I saw animated emojis because oh, I you. know. <laughs> <laughs> Poop in me. Yeah, you've looked at some of this technology. We're just talking about your your ailing iPhone six as well, <laughs> um, and everything. So, I mean, what what do you think about the, the, the what they're packing into this thing? I, I it, the, here's my problem. <laughs> get off my lawn. This is my get off my lawn moment. I've officially hit the six issue. You know, that I'm out a couple versions. So now everything is kind of going to hell. I don't hold a charge anymore. I can't get it not it's not responsive anymore i can't I, there was something ginormous on my phone that i can't delete so i have no storage it's mm-hmm. like all the shenanigans are happening at this point and i can't even get it to back up onto my laptop anymore <laughs> and or transfer all my pictures to my laptops so this is very frustrating oh <laughs> can you can you up can you use your so are you on 1033 i have not upgraded anything because this thing will not let me up like i have not can you get to so can you can you get it to upgrade via your laptop? Probably. So if you get it to upgrade via your laptop, it's going to upgrade the file structure mm-hmm. and it's going to get rid of that big cruft that you don't know what it is. Ooh. There you go. Hot tips from Chilla. But anyways, hey, uh, Katie, I have a phone over there that you can use in the meantime oh, there. Look at that. Look how nice a, a size it is. A nice, oh, it's, look, 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 that's a 10-year-old oh, iPhone. Happy birthday. And it still works. It's not going to work well because there is no edge technology in cell towers anymore. But still, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> that's a little, that's an oversight. Um, I like the icons; they're very pretty and large as well, right? Yes, and pixely in, in comparison. So, so I'm at this point where I need a new phone. Can I make it till November? Mm. <laughs> oh, because I take a lot of dark pictures when I'm in a dark haunted house. Mm-hmm. So I'm um, kind of thinking the X might solve a lot of these photo problems too. Or can you go get the eight and return it after in 30 days when you get the new one? <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Or can you just get like a six S now or a seven <laughs> and then return that when you're, when it's time to get the new one. So what you could also do is go get just the smart battery case. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. which has a bigger battery than the actual phone itself. Mm-hmm. So you would have the original battery life plus your decrepit battery plus <laughs> more. <laughs> like I can get, I can go, I can go almost three days. Wow. And, and th- since it's such an older phone, a Mophie for that is going to be so much cheaper right now. Yes. So you, you, you're, you're dropping like 30 or 40 bucks instead of like 120 uh, to get a couple extra months out of your out of your phone. I just wish so. my camera wasn't so bad right now mm-hmm. on this phone. <laughs> Pushing it. Um, okay, so I want to get to the camera on this too. But we were talking about face face recognition. Mm-hmm. Uh, Susan, you were talking about a little bit before before like you have face recognition on your phone too, don't you? I have uh, had pull that it. pull that a little closer. I have had face recognition in the past mm-hmm. on on whatever phone I was using at the time. And it, it never worked because mm. I can look so many different ways from a bag lady to glamorous. To, and I think a lot of women are like that actually. Yeah. You know, uh, but my but, question about the new iPhone is, will it give me the same uh, screen size as the note? Because my dream phone is the note eight. If it works and doesn't catch on fire, you know, so, so I'm, I'm kind of holding out for that, but I, for me, bigger is better, you know, for, and, and it looks like the screen uh, size. and I don't know what the other one is, but it looks like, um, it, it looks like the phone on this is, sorry, I, I just lost it. It, it, it's 565 uh, tall, 5.8 inch display. What's what's a note? 
chill out. Do you know? The note eight. Yeah. Um. Hold on one second. Okay. Well, he's Come looking at that. that. Well, he's looking question. at that, yeah. and um, and, and he's got that weird dubbing at the top with the, the that seems a little odd to me. But they had to rearrange everything across the top for that little nubbin for those cam- all those cameras. You know, all those cameras yeah. <laughs> that are pointed at you. Um, you know, it, it, and, and I think it's mostly comparable. It looks like it's about halfway between. You say it's about halfway between like a 7, probably the 8 and the 8 plus, right, Chilla? Yeah, so the, the Galaxy Note 8 is 6.3 inches edge to edge. Mm-hmm. But don't forget, they changed the width of the device and raised the height. So if you if you like look at the, even the Galaxy S8, they they made that weird it's what what I'll tell you to do is take a dollar bill out of your pocket and that's like the the size of the phone. Hmm. And it's it's weird cuz it's more narrow but a lot higher. So think about it, if you make something narrow and make it higher the the actual distance goes up. Um so at uh, six point three inches, I'll be interested when I get the note eight to see how it actually feels um in comparison to the to the ten. But the old note I thought was a l l- I had the note six or five, because they skipped six. Um I had the note five and I thought it was a little bit large. It I got a little more used to it as I started to use the S pen more, but going even larger than that, I kind of wonder, but then again, you also get more, usually more battery life out of that. So mm-hmm. that's a, there's always give and take to the size. It depends on how big your pockets are. Yeah, how are your pockets? <laughs> well, I think it's healthier to carry it in a purse too bad. More men don't have, Versus, hey, it's supposed to, you know, fanny packs are making a comeback it, it as may, one of our guests a couple weeks ago. the sperm count from last I heard. <laughs> if you if you carry your your uh, your smartphone in your uh, back in your back pocket, mm-hmm. uh, but getting your phone into a purse is a, is a nice thing because you're mm-hmm. away from the EMFs. Oh, no, you can walk around with an iPad if you needed to, and some do. <laughs> um so um we'll, we'll talk a little bit about uh, uh i want to talk a little bit more about apple announcements but first let's give a, a big shout out to our friends that are uh supporting pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza sliced on broadway right up the street here on broadway we're right here they're right up there uh so thank you so much for them supporting us uh for a good while good people out there sometimes curb service apparently if you're a sponsor as we get tonight <laughs> so missy like have like, had a foot out the car and had a pizza in her in her hands uh but anyways um, I don't think it's a regular basis thing, but thank you, thank you guys. Uh, also, over in Carnegie, PA, part of uh, down there in Main Street and uh, PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Thank you so much for those guys who are uh, supporting us. Please support them back. PGH underscore slice on the Twitter. Let them know you heard about them on the awesome cast. All right. Um, I did get everybody's awesome thing, didn't I? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> wanted to mention it, it is September 29th and 30th. I don't know if we said oh, the date <laughs> of the Ohio Linux Fest. Of September course. September 29th and 30th, about a three-hour drive from Pittsburgh. And, and I hear, I hear and, maybe shorter soon if we get the bullet train. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And it's and the and the uh, enthusiast registration pre-registration mm-hmm. is free. F R E E. And like, where can you get so much um, value for free, you know, in a free software, you know, and and uh, and uh, Linux operating system convention. So so best um, best opportunity around to come out for it. Absolutely. Um, So uh, on the end, Apple announcements, uh, the other big thing I think today was the um, okay, what's my new watch going to be when this pebble stops working in a couple of weeks? And, and and Sheila, I know you're probably keeping a good eye on this Apple Watch. So <clears throat> I'm personally not that interested in the LTE. Oh, model. right then, Katie. What do you think about the <laughs> Apple Watch? <laughs> they seem super. <laughs> Go ahead, Sheila. So, so I'm actually – so I still am running the Series 1. Mm-hmm. So if you hold out for for a couple months – if, if that if that pebble can make it a couple more months, you may be able to find a, a barter deal again. Oh um, no! Wait 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 wait! <laughs> Is this going to be like when I oh, so so wait wait? What do I have to trade you? I had a Google Glass, and you gave me a pebble and an iPad. So yep. I, I don't know so, what I have to offer you. 
I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to figure it out because I'm actually interested in the series three from because it would be a a, a large upgrade from my series one. Mm-hmm. Um, but I probably wouldn't go to the extent of getting the LTE model. I would definitely I'm I'm definitely planning on getting the typical 42 millimeter. Well, so let's model. Look, you need to explain for anybody that, that didn't get the the you Oops. know didn't didn't hear the announcements for today. So so there's going to be an LTE. Is it LTE? Is it's cellular? I don't know if they even said LTE in this one. But it, it, I, so the idea is you can walk out of your house, you're jogging, you your and your your watch still has connection, and you can use you know you can get text, you can make phone calls i think um and everything i don't know there's a demo where he called his daughter and she was out in the middle of a lake paddle boarding so and I, uh, sorry there went chilla's camera chilla take a nice look at the corner of the room for the rest of the show um <laughs> sorry about Did you that just put chilla in the corner chilla, i put you in the corner nobody puts chilla in the so. corner you know what i have this really cheap smart watch phone mm-hmm. that i got from china through top hatter <laughs> through top through hatter top hatter what is that it's a it's a web page that you you uh bid on on mm-hmm. uh, different things and it starts really low so you can get like a smartwatch for like four bucks maybe ten bucks and uh it's a bluetooth uh telephone calling so you have to have your smartphone in range <laughs> for your watch to work as a phone but then you could just use your your phone you wouldn't need to use the phone on the watch if you have to have the the your telephone within bluetooth range right right but you know so well i said i think the idea is you go jogging you go surfing they are showing right things like that um so, so, so that was the major complaint between the series one and the series two is that you couldn't leave your phone behind and still gps track mm. your 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 runs and that's the series two integrated the gps directly into the watch then the big complaint was okay now i can't take or make a phone call or a text message or whatever if i need to be able to be reached without my phone i could still do the gps tracking but i couldn't i couldn't without my phone and and i think it's a life assessment isn't it because that's the way i was looking at it's like am i a person that is going to leave my phone behind am i a person that goes jogging would i go jogging if i had this watch um you know and not have to to Thank you for the no one puts chill in the corner tweet. Um, <laughs> you know, it, you know, it, it untethers you from that, right? So, so you don't have to carry that on you because, again, what if you have an iPhone Plus or something, right? And you want to go jogging, and having that in your, you know, in your pocket is kind of, you know, yeah, it's tough. Kind of big. Um, from the chat room, Amanda, who can we do? We have to disclaim who she works for in this. Technically, uh, <laughs> this will be the first watch she buys. Is that flat or digital watch? She's saying, probably flat. I don't think I've ever seen her with a watch that I'm aware of. So, um, so there's that. I mean, it, it is enough going on with it. It's got all the health things. Um, I, I was really impressed with the heart, heart monitor. Like they'll warn you. Like, see if I'm just sitting here and I'm obviously do, not doing any uh, physical activity, which is unfortunately more often than it, than it probably should be. Um, and my heart rate goes up. It'll give me a notification because it's like obviously something is up. Right, whether it be your stress level or something is, is tipping you off, and eventually, you know, that's something that. Uh, and there was some 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 things they were working on with Stanford, where you know that information can be collected and used, and and um, you know uh, identify heart problems, you know, way before they become a problem. So uh, I think that's really cool, and, and having that attached to you is pretty good. I know how aware with this because the Pebble Two, the the very limited edition <laughs> Pebble Two. I love it because now I have a sleep monitor with it and I know how much sleep I got and I, I can keep track of that plus the steps plus the heart rate and look back, you know, because um, I've had that where I'm just like kind of like, wow, I feel like like I feel kind of worked up right now. And I'll look I was like, wow, yeah, my, my heart monitor is higher and you can go in and you see all that data. And you can see where the spikes are and everything like that. And I could go to a doctor and be like, do, do I have a problem here? Um, I, I think that opens up a lot of really interesting new applications that can hopefully help people. So. Yeah. I'm interested to see how quickly Spotify comes out with a full fledged watch app now, because because they you That'd can do a I think question. you can do controls from the watch, but it doesn't. It's still streaming and kind of relying on some key pieces back on the phone. Now with this theory, um, 
you don't need. And that was one of the big things that they, they talked about today was, you know, Apple Music, right? Tell it to play something and it's just going to stream it uh, over the network without your phone there. So right. I'm interested to see how, I, I wonder if this is also a way for, to push some developers to build the more robust applications for the watch. Um, I use Siri quite often from the watch to control home kit type stuff. Um, I often send text, short text messages back from the watch. So I am becoming more and more into using the watch. What will it replace my phone totally until we can get to the, the Avengers, you know, Tony Stark, I can, I can pinch and zoom out and have like a 3d hologram in front of it. It's probably not going to replace my phone, but I'm, I'm starting to rely more and more on actions on the watch than even going back to my phone. And, and, and a perfect example of, of lifestyle kind of making a decision for this. Uh, Amanda, who kind of, uh, this actually fits in our earlier conversation. She's using, she's using Steve's account in here to talk with us uh, on his phone. But uh, uh, he said, she says she'd get a cellular because uh, she leaves her phone at her desk too much and she runs around the mall in the store and misses so many texts from her bosses. So there you go. If you're, and again, you know, women usually have it in the purse, not in, you know, pockets, right? So that's going to happen more often. Oh, yeah, yeah, Missy? Producer Missy? Yeah, I had this conversation with you today when you were talking with me about it. We were. As you're watching the event. <laughs> My thing is, is that if I want to go out for a jog, I don't want to have to take everything with me. So in order to take my phone, I either have to have something that has pockets or I have to have one of those little sleeve things for my arm, or I need to have some other man, some other way of carrying my phone. Your sports bra. No, because then it gets sweaty. <laughs> so that, Nobody that, likes a sweaty iPhone. Exactly. Yeah. Like it just, it's it defeats, it, it's waterproof now. Does, does the waterproof apply to um, um, iPhone boob sweat? <laughs> I don't know. Apple technician in uh, <laughs> out there in the in the ether. Is that covered on Apple Care? Is that? Care? Is Apple that... Care? <laughs> uh, I'm guessing it's covered. <laughs> <laughs> right. We're just gonna put that out there. But like, sure. Thing, like, I would love the opportunity to go out to the gym or you know for a run in the morning or something like that without mm -hmm. having to worry about taking my phone with me, but still having the accessibility that I had my music with me as well as a way to call if I needed to, to reach help. Mm -hmm. Don't you need a SIM card and service with a, so with here's, a phone? Here's the interesting thing. So when, when the SIM card, it, they mm -hmm. have a, what they call it, a digital SIM that mm -hmm. they have built into the phone, I believe. Um, and also, and, and, and uh, actually Amanda, I'm pretty sure we're still talking to Amanda here. It's bringing up, uh, they said in the keynote that carriers could have deals coming up. So she's hoping that they would have some bundle deals. Like she can get the phone and the watch for an extra 75 months. So, cause the, 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 the watch, despite not having your phone there can be on the same phone number. So it's not like another device. Like when you put your iPad out, it right. gets its own phone number, right? Like somehow they're, they're arranging this. So you will be sharing that same phone number as, as your well, phone. And it's interesting how all the technologies have led up to this. Cause you remember a while back where I know AT&T and Verizon announced that you could merge phone numbers down to a single device. And then you could use like the Samsung has their, their gear device. That's a watch with cellular embedded. Um, then, Oh, what was the other one? Then the iPad came, the, the newer iPads came out and they don't have SIM card slots in them. Mm -hmm. um, the cellular ones, they don't have SIM card slots in them. They're, they were already using the digital SIMs. Is, it, is this brand new? Because the iPad Pro, we just switched on to AT&T and it, 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 we received it as a Verizon model. Um, and we just swapped the SIMs. Like they, they still right. have the micro. So, yeah, the newer, I think the newer iPads, not the not the last Pro, not, not the first Pro, but there's ones that have the digital SIM and when you literally... Active, when you activate them, if you bought them direct from Verizon, you pick which service you want. Um, just another updating from our inside source over here. Uh, <laughs> saying uh, it, it will act like a separate line that uh, they won't assign a number um, or or a number that would link to the other. Haven't talked to her AT&T guy yet. She's got a guy to figure this out. So 
we'll get updates on that. But now hopefully we'll update that. This is a good good time to mention, join our awesome cast uh, Facebook group where a lot of these discussions happen and we kind of sort out these or, or Slack. But let's keep them in the Facebook group. Uh, but anyways. Um, anything else? Uh, you know, okay, so we're going to watch crazy, of course. But um, Apple TV was announced. Their 4K, um, which you know, I don't know how many of us have 4K TVs. Anybody in the room? Probably Chilla, right? I, I have a 4K display. I my large TV hasn't been upgrading. Primarily waiting for this device. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course, because because that because now Chilla. With the 4K Apple TV, which I think starts at only about thirty dollars more than than the other Apple TV, yep. uh, like 160, 170 bucks, I think it was. 179, I think. 179. Oh, it's 180, which is not bad considering. Um, anything that you have bought on iTunes is going to be upgraded. That I guess is available is going to be automatically upgraded to 4K. 4K movies are the same price as HD. Yeah, and I'm I'm there's there was a lot of hoopla about this over the last couple of weeks about how. Apple was really holding out to to get that pricing to be matched. And I'm super excited that my entire iTunes library is now upgraded for free mm-hmm. um, because that will actually make a difference when I'm watching in my office because that's where I have my 4K display. Um, and most, even when you think about, for, it's one thing to say, do you have any 4K devices? It's another thing. How many devices do you have that are over 1080p? which the majority of my devices are over 1080p. They're the, they call it ultra high def. Mm -hmm. Um, So that's where I'm excited for, for that switch over as well as bringing the faster processor to the Apple TV and, and, and that kind of thing. I'm not overly crazed about the, the new controller. Chilla, Chilla. Can can we all come over to your place and watch Star Wars in 4K, please? (laughs) Sure. We'll just have a movie night and we'll watch it. I I can't. I want to see the new Spider Man. (laughs) That's true too. But I mean, Star Wars, though. Let's come on. Uh, (laughs) Three three D four K ultra or what is it hdr that's where that's where it's going to be yeah where's the three i I need to get at least the 3d because i was looking through my blu-rays because i just get the blu-rays again with just to have the digital copy and that's actually how i watch it i legitimately Mm -hmm. just like two weeks ago got my blu-ray player because i got an xbox one finally so i can like (laughs) actually pop some of those in that that don't get the features on the digital uh but anyways i'm just like well i have a lot of 3d I should get a 3D TV, right? Those are cheap now. Uh, but apparently I need to get a 4K crazy, I don't even know, kind of thing. But oh, we'll see. Uh, so, Chilla, let us know how that 4K goes, and we'll have our house party with you. Mm-hmm. Um, Definitely. <laughs> so, I mean, I can't. Geez, the internet you got to get. So, anyways, um, anything else Apple today that we missed? Um, their stores are pretty. <laughs> That's when I learned it. They're, they're, not, they're not stores. They're not stores. Okay. <laughs> They're not. Or, or they're they town community. squares. They're town squares. That's they're it. They're wonderful places to loiter, apparently. They announced some new beats. Um I was surprised they're actually coming out with a pair of beats that are lightning only on the on the, the connector. Mm-hmm. Um I'm what I'm super super excited about, and it's one of the reasons that I'm also gonna replace my watch and have to buy a new case for my iPods or my AirPods is uh the charging mat so okay i'm super excited about that charging mat i love okay good because when they they announced there's a certain point where like we we figured something out and you know we as they get thankfully it was not their one more thing they did one more thing the iphone iphone 10 uh which was nice and they, they talked about how much they they respect that term um the the charging mat they're like oh you got your phone you got your watch you got your airpods right that all need a lightning connector to charge so you're like well here's here's a wireless mat that's just big enough for all three of your things mm-hmm. and just like wow thanks guys thanks for thinking of that guys um like well, they said there was something about tech- some technology standard technologies don't let you do this is that right chilla that that I don't know. So the nice thing that I do like is all of these devices are using the Qi standard, or yeah, I, I pronounce it Qi, the QI. Um, interestingly enough, to your point, so I have multiple devices that use that standard, but no one's power mat is big enough to charge more than one. So 
I'm interested to see how many of these companies start to really put out more to create a bigger charging mat like Apple has, because they're not with a brand that I would trust. And I actually get like the Samsung charger and I've had some generic ones that break after 10 minutes of use or heat up and feel like it's a fallen meteorite cooking in your hand. Um, so, so I'm a little hesitant to just throw thousand dollar technology devices down on just anyone's power mat. Um, but I'm excited for the size of this one. Cause like I said, I have, here's, here's one, oh, here's the size of the one from Samsung. Okay. And you think about it, right? And so it, look, can, it looks like kind of a, a Amazon echo size for those of you yeah. guys on audio. I, I can put my phone on it. Right. Mm -hmm. But now I can't put any of the other devices on it. So if I wanted to put this phone on and, it, and, and, and I can't. I can't stack. It doesn't let me stack them. You right? can't stack. It's unstackable phone charging. Yes. Gotcha. So, so that's where, that's where I'm excited for this device. And I'll be interested to see how many people that have non-Apple devices pick up this charging mat because of its size. Mm -hmm. be interesting. To see. I am a little bummed that I have to buy a new case for my AirPods. <laughs> It'd only be another thirty or forty dollars, I'm sure. Actually, probably more. Thirty dollars here, forty dollars here, hundred dollars for the mat, twelve hundred for the phone. Yeah, we're 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 looking we're we're looking for like uh i i uh, MacBook options for Missy, and so she keeps stops getting stuck with Windows updates, and um and we're just like, oh, by the way, this is the world that you need to walk into, and I just showed her all the dongles she was gonna need because it was USB C, <laughs> and it's just like wonderful. Welcome to Dongo wor dongle world. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah. Just, just make oh. everything wireless. I, I did conveniently get a nice dongle bag from WordCamp this past weekend. You did! There you so, go! They knew. Saying. They knew. They know the dongles at WordCamp. So, so, so there was an interesting... So, so the dongles that you're looking at, are they mainly for video? Oh, no, no, no. Just the, just so she can plug in her extra monitor and, every, and, and, every, and, and mouse and everything that she uses at her desk. So, so it was interesting because I, I was talking to someone from from the the fruit company, and they they showed me their their backpack, and they're like, I don't understand. The guy actually said, I don't understand why anyone needs a dongle. And I'm like, well, you know, if you want to plug into this or that or or whatever. And he opened up his backpack, and it was a relatively very small, very light lap or laptop bag, and in the center of the backpack was an actual apple tv and then around the backpack was like a bluetooth mouse it wasn't apple's bluetooth mouse but it was a bluetooth mouse that he preferred and like everything was around the apple tv very nice nice and neat and he was pretty much like just make everything wireless mm -hmm. and i'm like that may work for you and the more and more i thought about it i actually now carry an Apple TV with me because it allows me to project any of my devices to anything. Wait, 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 HDMI. wait. You just carry an Apple TV with you as a utility? Yep. Because I can now airplay anything to anything. Wow. That's a good, uh, so you're, you're really pushing. Cause I've been trying, I have a Chromecast in here and I'm just like, maybe I should just have an Apple TV in here. And, now... and I actually, I, what I did was I found an old used, the fourth, the fourth gen. So where do you, the one where you can't add your own apps, right? Like that's all yes. you need, which is like that's all I need. Gotta it's, be super it's lighter. Cheap. It's lighter. It's thinner. It's cheaper. Um, wait, wait, wait! You sound like an Apple keynote now. Um, <laughs> uh, Katie, Katie, what have you learned about Apple from today? They're making me wait till November. <laughs> Very mad at them. Well, since that's been the topic of the day, uh, what do you guys have? You guys learned anything from Apple today? <laughs> Um, no, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm still a, a dedicated Android user. Mm. My understanding is Android's built on a Linux operating system. So I avoid Apple at all costs. And if you want to avoid Microsoft updates, the solution is to have Linux as your operating system on your, on your, uh, I've suggested that multiple times. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, oh, you just need to so, bunt to, you'll be all right. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> and then so, we say, yeah, yeah, but Photoshop. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. One thing I wanted to say about the smartphone is uh, Fitbit's coming up with some really nice features on their Fitbits. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. The one I'm looking at has uh, a date. They'll tell me what date it is, as well as the time, as well as all those other things with sleep and 
running and things like that. So to me, $129 on sale is a lot better than the, you know, Apple Watch or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, they have out there. So hey, there's a lot of options out there. So that's 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 awesome. Yeah. What about you, Vance? What did you learn today? <laughs> well, I I got to say, I'm kind of a Luddite, so I still have a, a dumb phone that I use. So <laughs> Wait, like I'm probably a, not the person phone. to ask. You're using, for, like a, uh, you're using like a flip phone? Yeah, 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 All it's right, right here. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, so so uh, uh, once again, ohiolinux.org, if you guys want to check everything out. Again, these are the 29th and the 30th, I believe. Yeah, 29th and 30th of September. Please go on and register now. Uh, we need to show our sponsors the numbers of, of the people that are coming. Mm -hmm. That'll help us keep it free for the go. people that want the free registration all right thank you so much for yeah. joining us here and uh, uh check out do you guys have a uh, twitter is there anything you want to share or uh, not, uh, probably not on your flip phone right no no, <laughs> no ohio linux is on twitter yes we're, we're on uh g plus twitter facebook and linkedin and our web page so <laughs> Haven't gotten around to Instagram yet, but that's on my to-do list. Awesome. Go check it out. Katie Dudas, Kay Dudders on the Twitter. Check her out on the uh, Scarehouse YouTube and, and Facebook page. Um, just, you know, making zombie friends. <laughs> there's a lot of me. A lot of well, there's also <laughs> a lot of you. But you, got, you did something fun last week that I do want to mention. I presume that you did this. Uh-oh. There was the Facebook Live that was the hide-and-seek. Oh, that was so fun. That was an awesome concept. It, yeah i know that was that was really cool that was actually scott that walked downstairs and did that and followed the clown around mm -hmm. because he wanted to do it, which is it, I, it, I, I was i sat and watched i was ready for anything on the laptop i was like <laughs> because you guys just you you went down there and you heard like the laughing in the background and it's dark and it's creepy and it's like two minutes and they just did it on facebook live and 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 spoiler the clown finds you uh yeah. <laughs> so if you didn't know i was gonna go um but no it was it, it was a really cool concept and like this so I mean, it was just you just walked down there with a phone and did it right mm -hmm. so i mean just the, the, the little things are the ones that that sometimes matter the most as, as we've discussed many times on mm -hmm. this and other shows that we've done together um uh, anything else to plug you got going on oh we open this weekend Oh, hey, go to ScareHouse oh, this weekend. Yeah. We open on Friday. We, we have discount codes here if you're in the studio yes. or, or catch me on Lyft. <laughs> so, yes, fine. <laughs> so finally, it's out there. We get to see it. Um, and great great teasers on there as well. And of course, check out the web thinger that she's a part of um, over on SorgatronMedia.com. John Chichilla. Chillatech.net. Chill on the Twitters. If anyone wants to have a slumber party, a virtual <laughs> slumber party, <laughs> On the twenty, the twenty sixth into the twenty seventh of October, pre orders will start at three a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mm. So I'll probably be staying up to get my pre order in. I think so. The, I, we, so we, I don't have to wait in line on the third. Hey, can you can you create a, uh, a Facebook event and co-host me on that? And we'll, uh, we'll 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 do something special for that. Okay, sure. So I'll definitely do that, and then uh, definitely tune in next week when I bring the new galaxy note 8 to the show Whoa. to do a review for that what 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 oh he's got the new he's got the new the new the new fancy uh missy's here too she just she, you just talked to word camp i just Hi. want to plug that that's gonna that video will be up soon what, what was that? You you just talked at WordCamp Pittsburgh. I, I did just talk at WordCamp Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. I gave a nice little presentation about using WordPress for what we do here, podcasting. Mm -hmm. And it's it was a nice warm-up for PodCamp at the end of the month, too. Yes, PodCamp is also happening. Yes. So if, if you don't get a chance to make it out to Linux Fest, because, you know, three-hour drive, we do have a nice free event here in Pittsburgh as well where we can teach you about blogging podcasting social media and that fun gamut of or of even you can pick you can do two days of ohio linux fest and do one day of pod camp or vice versa whatever fits the bill for you so we can get the best of both worlds going yes. on and uh and we will also have video up there as well for our event if you if you if you go all in ohio linux fest, i get it i get it they, they <laughs> party do. they party on saturday night <laughs> <laughs> it's but there's a lot of options that Friday. weekend a lot Friday, of great, Saturday. there you go. A lot of great stuff going on. 
uh, here this month. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Thank you, everybody, in the chat room. Anybody that's dropped in on the other places we're streaming this week, uh, of course, you can ch check us out every Tuesday live at awesomecast.net to join us. Or you can hang out in the studio like Billy hanging out back there. Hi, Billy. Are you getting a new phone, Billy? Yes, I'm getting There you go. He's getting the new phone. Which one? You getting the X? He's getting the X. We talked him into the X. There you go. I'm sure we'll get to watch the match. Uh, <laughs> thanks so much, everybody, for joining us. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.